This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to use build-in function map for the L for the R to write new ML functions. Again, we first open text editor to write our code. We first write down the commands, normally is the description of the program. The commands are located in between parentheses star and star parentheses. Uh, in this example, I will talk about two functions. After students understand these two functions, the students should be able to write their project three. Okay, let's see these two functions. First function, write a function cubic list of type from integer list to integer list, then take a list of integers and return the list of cubes of those integers. For example, if your list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then the result should be 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. So each of the result element is the cubic of the given list. Okay, now to write this, of course, we can always use recursive uh, sync to write this, right? Uh, in the old version, let us recall, if I want to write by using recursive sync, what I supposed to do? So, uh, well, then we will say, use the find uh, call what a cubic, let's call it cubic list old version, okay? Now, in this case, I will say if the list is empty, then the result is empty, right? Or what I can say, cubic list old, okay? If it's not empty, so I have x and uh, I have tail, then the result will be what? Will be the head, which is x uh, multiply x multiply x is cubic, right? Then canon canon, what? Cubic list old style, then I just act on the tail. Okay? So, then the other way to do it, use recursive sync. Let us test the other way to do this. Again, I open a terminal window that will navigate to the place where I save my function. So I will cd documents, videos, this is where I save it. CSCI 461, then list all the elements I have here, uh, files I have here, I say example three. So I will use, uh, so I type SML first to get into SML mode, then I use example three, dot SML, then I will say I have a cubic list old. Let us test this out. Cubic list old. Let's give a list one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Then you say exactly what we want. Okay, this is the older way to do it. Now, today we will introduce a new way. The new way to do is uh, it, we use the build-in function. First function, now like this we should use map. What a map do? Map will map a function to every element of a list. So of course the result will be a list. So let's say cubic list x equal this will equivalent I will map the following function. The function is anonymous function. You give me x, this function will return you x cubic, which is x multiply x multiply x. I will map this function to the list x. Now pay attention here, the ML will not confuse with this uh, binding. Well, probably I should not do this way. Uh, let me use arrow. So let's confuse. After we study chapter 10, we can use X. Student might more, uh, I have more clear idea over there. Okay, let's say you give me a list L. Okay, equivalent, I want to map this function to L. Equivalent, I will use this function to act on every element in L. What does this function do? You give me integer x, I return you x multiply x multiply x. So equivalent, you give me every integer in L, I will return you then the integers cubic, cubic power. Okay, this is supposed to work. Let us save it, then go 
go back to the terminal window again use example 3 dot sml you will say we have cubicle uh, oh, I did not call it a cubicle list I call it a cubicle less well again the name doesn't matter right so I call cubicle less just, just do it okay one two three four five okay so you say we got the exact same result let me change it that's still a good name now. cubicle list now in order to do it you need to save it then I use example 3 dot sml then I say cubic list 1 2 3 4 5 6 we know the 6 is 216 right so 216 everything is right okay let's see the second example we will write a function called minimum of type integer list to integer that returns smallest element of a list of integers. If your function did, uh, your function did not behave well if the list is empty. We don't care if the list is empty, okay? Because we don't know what is the minimum of an empty list, right? It's not defined. Okay, so let's say this time I will use photo. Now what a photo do? <clears throat> photo basically, uh, you will photo a function to a list. So Normally, this function either have two argument, so the, this function will acting on the list so last element with an initial value, then use that result as the initial value, combining with this list second last element as input to the function to so get function result again. So then you recursively to do so. Let's say if I want to find the minimum of the list. Since we say list is not empty, so you have head and tail, then I will use photo r. Now, you need to give me an anonymous function. Since I want the minimum, so I want this function is, you, if you give me two argument a, b, I will return you the smaller one of a, b. So if a is less than b, then the result will be a else the result is b. So basically this anonymous function is you give me a b, I give you the smaller one in a b. Okay, so I will use this function folder to the whole list to find his minimum. How I do that? I need to use an initial value which is head of the list, then follow it to the tail of the list. Equivalent say I will first find the minimum between x and the last element of the list access, which is the tail of the original whole list, find the minimum. Then you stand the result as the input. Then I follow this function, apply this function again with the second last element of xs. Then you stand the result uh, com uh, under the third last element of xs to apply this function. So basically, each time I find the element between two elements in the list, uh, the smaller element, then use the smaller element compared with another element in the list to find the smaller one. So this should work. Okay, let us save it. Uh, again, I use example three. Dot sml. Oh, I have a. Uh, uh, and call an exception for the oh, sorry, a low e okay for the r. So let's save it. For the is a build in function okay. For the r means you follow to the right side, so you can start from the last element of the list okay. So let's see, then I will use example 3 dot sml. Okay, now uh, everything is fine, except since we did not consider the empty case. So he will say match line exhaustive because you did not consider empty list. Okay, now let us uh, to find the minimum. For example, I want to find the minimum of the list 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 6. The result is supposed to be 1. Yeah, 
we got it. Okay, if you have any questions, please send me an email.